everyone, Colton here, and this is a question that I came across on a, the Synesthesia Facebook group about synesthesia. Considering I have synesthesia and I'm also autistic and ADHD, I figure I can give you guys a good answer. So what the question was is, is there any theories that could help to explain uh, why synesthesia occurs or to help explain it? Um, and there is a good way to explain it. Uh, first, we have to understand that synesthesia falls under the umbrella of neurodivergence. And what also falls under that is ADHD and autism. Now, there was a study, I can't remember the name of the study, but I'll go ahead and link it, which was that synesthesia is three times more likely to occur in autistic individuals. So there is that already. And also, there is some science to suggest that synesthesia, autism, and ADHD both happen in part due to the brain and the nervous system not pruning as many synaptic uh, connections. So there is that. Uh, what synaptic pruning is, is that when mammals develop their brain as it grows, specifically in humans this is, the brain grows and makes a whole bunch of new connections at once. And then as you develop and mature, it slowly prunes away the ones that uh, you don't use as much. And it's an important part of development. Now, it's known that ADHD and autistic peoples, as well as those that are synesthetes, and I'm all three of those, that this doesn't happen as much. And thus, this could explain why those three conditions are at least correlated with each other. But this is all understood under the reason why this all occurs in the first place, which is genetics. Namely to say that if you're ADHD, autistic, or a synesthete, somebody in your family line probably was those things as well. So that's just a couple of things to be uh, aware of, and I hope that explains it all.